What if I told you that only a few percent of your website visitors will hit that contact now button? Then what if I told you there was a way to automate the growth of your email list for free? No, I am not kidding around. <laughs> hey everyone, I'm Brad Porritt and I'm all about helping Main Street businesses use the power of online marketing to grow their business. So if you're new here, consider subscribing because I put out a weekly marketing hack every single week. Okay, I'm here today to tell you about Convertful, my number one go-to tool for converting more visitors into email subscribers. Now, last week I put out a video talking about the five top web design trends for 2019 that will help boost your conversions, and Convertful was one of them, so I'll put that up in the cards up here if you wanna watch that one as well. So Convertful is a website tool that's used to acquire more subscribers via smart behavioral based contact forms. The problem with most email tools is that they show the same form to everyone. Convertful takes it one step further and they sort of know your visitors better than you or even the visitor knows themselves. Let's think for a moment of your website as your local business. Here's how most websites work or how a local business would work if they were a website. I open the door to your shop and immediately I'm greeted by a friendly person that says, how can I help you? No thanks, and then I continue walking through your store. And then, a few steps later, another enthusiastic employee walks by and says, here's a 10% off coupon if you just hand me your email address. Again, I say, no thanks, and I move on. Then, a few steps later, a third employee comes walking around and says, here's our store security policy that we have to give to you to let you know how we monitor your shopping experience. Here, all they ask for is a simple acknowledgement and then they move on. Now, let's take this one step further. I'm about to leave the store, I haven't purchased anything. On my way out, I see another visitor walking into the store. They've been here before and they get the exact same spiel from the same three employees, even though this person has already been to the store before. This is basically how most websites are creating distracting experiences for the users. And of course, if a user or shopper is distracted, then they'll be very likely to leave. So there are really two problems that exist here. One, they're showing the same offer to everyone, regardless of their shopping behavior. And two, they're overloading them with offers and distracting them. Okay, so here's how to fix your website conversions and grow your email list using Convertful. Here, I'm gonna show you four things that you need to know. One, how to set up and install Convertful on any website. Two, create your first email opt-in widget. Three, how to show your opt-in widget to just targeted users. And four, how to send those email subscribers to whatever email service you may be using like MailChimp or ActiveCampaign. Let's jump over to the computer and let's dive right in. Okay, great. We're over here at the computer and I'm gonna show you those four steps that you need to do to start growing email subscribers today. First thing you need to do is can sign up for a free account with Convertful and I've left the link to it in the description where you can get yourself a 14 day free trial um, through my affiliate partner link. So just go ahead and click on that and you'll be able to set up the uh, 14 day trial. So, okay, so once you get to Convertful and you sign up with your account, it should look something like this. Okay, so here is uh, my dashboard for my site here, bearcityimpact.com. I have them arranged by different, uh, by the different types of widgets that are available, and I'm gonna show you how to create um, a couple of these. So an example here, let's say I was on a website like bearcityimpact.com, a blog article here. So here's one on why I'm switching to later for my social media platform. So as I'm scrolling down, when I get down to about 50% the way through, I have this little slide in box here that says, want more great stories. So it's very, very subtle. Okay, so that's an example of a slide in box. So here's um, basically once you've created your 
uh, free account. They're gonna give you, Convertful's gonna give you this script code. Um, you just need to copy and paste that somewhere into your website. Now, if you're using WordPress, it's even easier. Um, you just go to the plugin directory, type in Convertful, and there's a one-click installation for the plugin. It's super easy. If you're on a website like Squarespace or Wix or Weebly, there's usually a section there that says add to the head section. So head as in the... Okay, so once, once that script is on the website and Convertful's activated, you can go ahead. You're already past step one. Now we can get to step two, which is creating your first widget. So back in the dashboard here, I'm gonna click on create widget. And here there's some templates. Of course, you can completely customize this. So we can choose inline. Inline basically means it always just sits on the page. Um, it, it kind of, a scroll box is what I showed you before where it kind of just slides in from the bottom or it can slide in from the top. Um, another option is what they call a floating bar, which um, basically will, as you can see here on the screen, it's going to come from the top and it covers the whole width of the screen. A welcome screen I find is one of the most effective because it takes over the entire screen. So it's a completely immersive experience that the user is put into. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and create a scroll box. Very, very simple, very easy to use widget. So we're gonna tap scroll box and we can tap any one of these that we want. So if I was to click on this cab one, for instance, I can kind of get a visual of what it's gonna look like and click on create scroll box. And I like to give this a unique name. So I'm gonna put in newsletter slide in. So here we have the design page. So by default, this is the uh, this is the default design that they give you. Here they're asking for name, email, and then an acceptance of the terms and privacy policy. So now we're left with first name and email. And as a general rule of thumb, I actually recommend only asking for the email. And the reason being is it's a much lower barrier to entry to get someone to just fill out their email address than the first name. Even that one additional field uh, could be the uh, turning point of whether someone's going to fill it out or not. So for now, I'm just going to remove the first name field. And here I can change things up. So for instance, I'm not a huge fan of super rounded corners. So in the form field settings, uh, we can change this border radius and I'm going to put that down to about five points and the same thing with the button. So I'm just clicking on the button here and I'm going to change this down to five points. And so now I have a slightly rounded button here. You are on the free plan, you won't be able to remove the powered by. However, um, if you do sign up for a paid plan, which I think they start at like $10 a month, they're extremely reasonable, um, you can remove the powered by link if you want. Um, on the widget here, you can also change the background image, so that's just what's there. You can also just completely remove it, and now it's kind of a solid color. You can add more padding around everywhere if you want to um, make this a little bit, have a little more white space around the area, color of the sign up button. So I'm gonna put this to the orange that I use for Bear City Impact. And so now this actually kind of matches, um, you know, my brain colors a little bit. Okay, so basically from there, um, all you have to do is just click inactive to active and now it's saved and now this um, is ready to go so you've now done you've now installed it on your website uh, you've installed convertful on your website you have also designed your first opt-in widget and now we need to target it to certain pages or certain behaviors on the website so next we're going to click on display rules so currently, by default, it's set for when a visitor scrolls more than 40% of the page. So right now, this is actually gonna show on every single page um, because by default, it's supposed to show when they've gone 40% down the page. I wanna change that though. And so what we're gonna do, there's a few things you can do. So first of all, you can change it to the time on page is at least 30 seconds. So this is very useful. 
Um, you don't want to show it to someone as soon as they've come onto the website. Um, but if they've been browsing the website, uh, or rather the page, uh, for more than 30 seconds, then that means there's someone that's a little more committed to that page. Um, they're not just kind of casually browsing. Um, they're they're probably reading the entire article and its and its length. So um, it'll pop up on the bottom of the screen no matter where they are, as long as they've been on the page for 30 seconds or longer. From here, we can also target it even further. So we can do things like behavior is current page URL. So what we're saying is show only if, so if they've gone 40% of the page, but only if the current page URL matches, we can put in a specific page. We can put in slash blog slash specific article. Or we can do current page URL contains. So here we can put if it's on slash blog. That basically means uh, I want to show this on any page as long as it starts with the slash blog path. <laughs> Another option is going to be certain dates. February 14th. So if you started a display pop-up, you can say as long as it's before the 14th, which is Valentine's Day in this case, then it will show the display. But after the 14th, it's not going to show that um, that banner anymore, especially if it's gonna be holiday related. So those are a couple different behavioral targeting conditions that you can do, and you can even get much more advanced um, by things like visiting source by the session referrer. So what that basically means, um, you can say, okay, if they came from Facebook, so if they clicked on a link from your Facebook, then we're gonna show them this specific um, widget. So there are several, several different ways that you can get in Target. So I encourage you to sign up for a free account, check out the different options for targeting that are gonna be best for your site. Okay, and the last step, the fourth step, is gonna be sending these email subscribers to your email service provider. So what that means is when someone does put their email address in for one of these forms, let's say to join your newsletter, we want that email to go somewhere. Convertful is just going to be the vehicle that takes that email, but we need to drive it somewhere. If you're using MailChimp or ActiveCampaign um, or any one of those email service providers, we wanna send it over to them. So here's how we do that. We actually go back to the design tab and we click on the button again and what we want to do is um, the type in this case is going to be submit and on submit actions what we want to do is we want to add an action and in this case uh, I already have active campaign set up on this account here uh, what we actually want to do first is we actually want to go to integrations and we want to add an integration so yours will be blank if it's the first time so if we click add integration, these are all the different email service providers that Convertful integrates with. So we have Active Campaign, Aweber is another popular one, Campaign Monitor is another popular one, ConvertFox, uh, Drip, HubSpot, GetResponse, Infusionsoft, which they just changed their name. Um, you also have MailChimp, another popular one, and they just added Zapier today, actually. So basically what you wanna do is you wanna click on whichever um, a method you want to use. So if I have MailChimp here, what we're going to do is we're going to connect via the account login or an API key, whichever you choose, and you're just going to drop that in there and there's instructions on where to obtain that code. So once you get your integration down, we're going to go back to that widget, click on the button, and on submit actions, we're going to say, okay, I want to go to active campaign and I want to add the contact with default settings. Perhaps I also want to send them to a certain list. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the contact to a list and I'm going to set up whichever um, list I want them to go to. Perhaps I want to add a specific tag. So active campaign uses tags so I can say, uh, you know, I want to um, add them to this GMB guide tag that I have, which uh, 
which triggers the automation sequence that I have an active campaign. So there's a few different things that you can do here, but ultimately the main thing is you want to send that email to that email service provider based on the integration that you've set up. And that is basically it. So here we've created our free account and grabbed our installation code. We've created our first widget. We have targeted that widget for certain behaviors on the page. And fourth, we have now connected our email service provider to Convertful. So all of those emails that we're capturing are gonna get sent right over to that email service provider. Okay, and question of the day. So which email opt-in tool are you currently using? And if you aren't using one, which ones have you looked at in the past? Thank you again for watching. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and smash that like button. And again, please consider subscribing as I put out a new marketing hack every single week. Until then, I'll see you later. Now, last week I put out a video Okay, great, so we, uh... let me try that again.